All right, welcome back, mumblers. Check it out, it's Chemical Plant Zone. Another classic from the early Genesis days. This one's from, this is the second level from Sonic 2. Sonic 2 would probably be one of my favorites, but it's not, it's not my top shelf. And also, Chemical Plant itself is a bit of a retread. Now, how do you do that again? Apparently, there's a way... There we go, okay. There's a way that, without actually having uh, a second player, you can now get Tails uh, to pick you up. It's very helpful. Um, it's super duper useful. I think the way it is, you press up, and then jump, and then that makes him fly, and then you just gotta jump into his hands. There you go, yeah. So, that's pretty useful for exploration purposes. Uh, Alright, let's dig in. This is a classic level. Um, there's not a lot that's changed in this iteration of it. Little things here and there. Um, in the first act, anyway. Se oh, fuck. First act is very samezies. The second act is very unique. Man, I'm not playing well. I don't know where I am, either. Shoot. It's never good to be underwater too long, as any Sonic fan will remember. But there we go, I found a water shield, that's going to be super fucking useful. So the water shield again, it's one of those elemental shields from the Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles days. Uh, it was never some- oh, there we go! It was never something that you really saw in, um, in Sonic 2. So again, a reminder from last episode, uh, the way these special stages work to get the Chaos Emeralds, speed is given to you slowly in that, see that Mach uh, bar there? You get Mach 2 and eventually Mach 3 um, by collecting blue spheres. You're running out of time constantly, but you pick it up again through collecting rings. Now, in my main file I have yet to actually get all the Chaos Emeralds. So, in this Let's Play, we're going to try to do them all, and get the special ending. But, who knows how successful I will be at that. So, you see, once I get up to Mach 3, you're really fucking ripping. Oh, shit! That was close, I almost fell out of the level. You can take, uh, when you're up to Mach 3, you can really, like, take crazy shortcuts, but it can still be risky, because you can run out of the level, and that's no good. Okay. I got 27 seconds. If you get hit, it's really, really punishing in this game because um, you lose your rings, which means you lose your time, right? It can be really fucking frustrating. There we go. Great, so that's number two. panic attack in a minute, <laughs> because uh, there are sequences later on. Now, okay, see these giant rings? This is a new element. Um, earlier in this episode, I picked up a blue ring bonus. Now, what those do is um, it makes all your rings worth five, or possibly ten, I don't remember, um, and they become really big. Next time you get hit, you will lose your rings, but they'll be bigger and easier to catch and worth more. So. It's kind of neat, it's like, um, it's kind of in the middle of giving you uh, a shield or giving you rings, right? It, it, it doesn't really help, but it, it, as long as you have rings, you can get them back much quicker. Now, yeah, I was saying, uh, there are these segments, this right here, for example, where these staircases climb up, and then while you're in here, um, they flood with water. This was a famously difficult, frustrating segment of Chemical Plant back in the uh, Genesis days, and it's no different here. Here's the part. 
Now, pro tip, if you're ever playing as Tails, these segments are a little bit more broken because Tails can actually swim. It doesn't help me here because he can't lift me up while swimming, but Tails can swim, so it's an easy way to get through these segments faster. Knuckles too can climb walls, but it's not always actually that useful. Let's see. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was trying to do that thing to pull Tails over so he could lift me up. Now I gotta do this again. Hope I don't die. We shall see. No, I'll be fine. Oh, there's the counter. There's that fucking song. All right. Okay, so I think the way it works is you just press up, and then tails. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah, there we go. So I can get tails to fly me over stuff, which is super duper useful. Spider guys, they grab you and then obviously doesn't end well. Gotta be really careful. And I just fucked up again. Boy, this is a messy first let's play of this fucking game. You guys don't mind. I keep meaning to show you the star post bonus stages, but I never have rings uh, when I get to them. Okay, first boss. Master that getting tails to fly thing. There you go. Oh. Okay, so the best time to hit him is now when he doesn't have his uh, big globules of blue chemicals on him. Oh, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> Worth a try. Whatever. Got it done. So again, another thing that is really cool about this game is the, uh, it's both, both basically the same as the old stuff, but there's like little animation kind of either improvements or just alterations. Sonic's idle animations were always a thing of like, uh, uh, you know, it was really charming to watch. See, this one's really cool. Um, Tails is good too. Anyway. There's lots of really nice slick animation in this game. You can see his running pattern is a little bit different. His hands fall behind him the way they do in um, the modern Sonic games. In modern Sonic, he kind of runs like he's flying, like his, his arms fall out behind, or like fly out behind his back. Lots of really cool little satisfying things while still maintaining the kind of stylistic integrity of the original series, which is really nice to see. Okay, so let's talk a bit more about this stuff here. Now, do you know that you know that the um, blue chemicals, the, like the really dark blue, they hurt to, to fall into. Um, this light blue chemical, it's kind of bouncy. Then you put these syringes down, and it turns into green. And look at that shit. Yeah, it's really fucking high. All right. So that becomes a mechanic later on in this level that is pretty cool to watch. Now I'm just going to jump in here. Anybody who played Sonic 3 or Sonic 3 and Knuckles or Sonic and Knuckles 
will remember these stages. These are the Get Blue Spheres, and in those old games, this was the way that you collected the Chaos Emeralds. They make a return in this game. With some of the original maps, and then I think some new ones created by the, the dev team of this game, that are especially hard and like especially frustrating. Something interesting is that you can have multiple save files in this game, but the save files don't count for this. For whatever reason, you don't do uh, the first special stages anymore. It remembers the ones I've beaten, and it just keeps giving me the ones I haven't yet beaten. So you're seeing a relatively more advanced special stage at this point. Anyway, the rules of these are simple. You have to collect all the blue spheres while dodging the red ones, and collect any rings as well that are in the map. Yellow ones make you jump high, and the star ones obviously make you bounce back and can potentially fuck you up. If you get a perfect square of blue spheres, they all magically turn into rings, which is a way that... See, I just got that perfect symbol. That suggests that I've collected every ring in this environment. Oh. Now, I don't know how to do this part because... I think I must have to approach it from a different side. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's a hard one. That's a hard one for sure. Okay, so I got the green... Oh no, I got the green gunk here. Uh, I put the syringe down, it turns green. Now I can get up here. Got myself another blue... Uh, a blue ring bonus. I don't know what those are officially called. I haven't bothered to look it up. These are kind of cool mechanic. The purple goo makes you stick to the wall there. Now be on the lookout, guys, for me. Uh, if I, <laughs> if you see any Chaos Emerald giant rings, fucking let me know. Yeah, so these are pretty hard. Basically, every time I do them, I'm gonna shame myself. Sorry guys, Sam was at the door, I had to let her in. Alright. So... I think, so I think there's four corners of this that I have to... Get down! Oh, shit! <laughs> okay, no, so I've gotten all those. There's some rings over here that I need to get. And... Uh, okay. This is where things get tricky. Okay. Making a s square here, picking up these rings. How many I got still? Uh, 12, okay. Let's see if we can find them. Oh yeah, I bet they're here. Oh shit, no. No good. Okay. See, that's a good example of when the drop dash is super useful. Those things, uh, they shoot stuff in a way that it's not hard to dodge, but it can be a little bit tricky. And if instead you just plop down right in front of them and then spin dash them automatically, you don't have to worry about that. Now, those enemies, I don't remember where they're from. I don't think they're from... Fuck. Yo, I'm so bad at this. Uh, I don't think they're from this level, but I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments. 
Later on uh, in the game, there's a lot of Badnik kind of reuse from other levels, and it gets confusing if they originally appeared in these levels or if they were... if they've been put in for Sonic Mania. So now I'm starting to get a little bit confused. Oh, shit. All right, let's do this. Okay, so, yes, the blue gunk is no good. Teal gunk is okay. Green gunk is super bouncy. There we go. No, I'm not going to fall for that again. Let me see if I can get Tails to get me up there. Oops. Come on, Tails. Come on, you fucking dink. Ugh. Hold on. There we go. Ah! <laughs> There's another one, you asshole. You clearly want to keep me from that area, game developer, so I am going to try a second time. Okay, hold on. Okay, so what's up here? Give me something good. Oh, I could have gotten a life up there. This looks to be the traditional path. <laughs> so, did not really appear to be worth it, but that's okay. <laughs> this is, by the way, not the speedrunning <laughs> Let's Play of this game. This is just a regular Let's Play, trying to be a semi-completionist. Now check this out. This is a very fucking unexpected boss. Players of the game Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine will recognize this. It's kind of like a Tetris clone, Puyo Pop, uh, whatever those games are called. Candy Crush, it's all the same shit. You'll notice that the timer has disappeared. That's because basically you have, what you have to do is just outlast Eggman. Eggman is shit at his own game, um, and as long as you do better than him, even just slightly, you'll be okay. So the way it works is if you connect four of the same color, then they disappear, and if that happens, see, Robotnik just sent a bunch of shit to me. Oh, damn it. <laughs> it, it, uh, it'll eventually drop a bunch of these ones, these black ones, that sort of fuck up your plans, because they can't be connected with anything. They just screw with you. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Crap. Oh well. Oh, this is perfect. Look at that. Got rid of a bunch of black ones at the same time. Okay, if I can somehow connect all those oranges, I will be very happy. Perfect. Was that six? It was six. If I can get another purple... Oh, damn. Oh, I could have put that red one right there and completed that. Oh, well. There we go. Ugh! You fucking dink. Okay, if I can get some purples... I need one more purple. I can do a thing. There we go. That works. Put those greens together. There we go. Okay, he's almost done. He's almost done. Get those blues out of there, reds out of there. There we fucking go. Take that. Beat you at your own game, Robotnik. 
All right. So that was Zone 2, Acts 1 and 2, Chemical Plant. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next episode where we head to Studiopolis.